O oh, sing to the Lord, O oh, sing to God a new song. For God is the Lord, and God has done wonders. So, dance for our God and blow all the trumpets. O oh, shout to our God who gave us the Spirit, for Jesus is Lord. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, sing to our God. O oh, sing to our God a new song. Praise to the Lord and sing a new song. Amid all the saints, God's praises prolong. A song to your maker and ruler now raise. All children of Zion, rejoice and give praise. With timbrel and harp and joyful acclaim, with gladness, O oh God, we praise your great name. For now in your people, good pleasure you seek. 
with robes of salvation, you cover the meek. In glory exalt all saints of the Lord with song in the night, high praises accord. Go forth in God's service and strong in God's might to conquer all evil and stand for the right. To sing a new song unto the Lord requires that each of us claim God's promises so that we can sing with confidence, with hope, with joy. Have you claimed God's promises? Do you know, believe, and claim God's promise of a covenant between God and the children of God, of never again destroying creation as God did with the flood, of deliverance and protection for those who worship God and obey God's commandments? Do you know believe and claim God's promise of faithfulness at all times, of justice and righteousness and steadfast love, that God will be God and is and always will be in charge of the world. Do you know, believe and claim God's promise of forgiveness for individual and community sins? of good news for the oppressed and liberty to the captives, that God will create a new heaven and a new earth through Jesus the Christ. Our singing at times will be reciting of God's wonderful, awesome, and surprising acts, but our singing at other times will be crying out to God in anger, fear, frustration and dismay. There is no promise of God that I can find that assures me of an easy and painless life. It is as you and I claim God's promises that our songs of lament can move into songs of praise to an ever faithful God. To claim God's gifts and promises will make our singing truly a new song in harmony with God's plan for all of creation and for all God's children. View the present through the promise. Christ will come again. Trust despite the deepening darkness. Christ will come again. Lift the world above its grieving through your watching and believing in the hope past hopes conceiving. Christ will come again. Probe the present with the promise. Christ will come again. Let your daily actions witness. Christ will come again. Let your loving and your giving and your justice and forgiving be a sign to all the living. Christ will come again. Match the present to the promise. Christ will come again. Make this hope your guiding premise. Christ will come again. Pattern all your calculating and the world you are creating to this advent you are waiting. Christ will come again.
Clement of Alexandria, writing in the second century, uses the metaphor of the new song as his name for Christ. He says, do not suppose the song of salvation to be new as a vessel or a house is new. For before the morning star it was. And in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the word was God. Inasmuch as the word was from the first, he was and is the divine source of all things. But inasmuch as he has now assumed the name Christ, consecrated of old and worthy of power, he has been called by me the new song. Jesus Christ is the new song the manifestation of the world that was in the beginning and before the beginning. Come to sing the song of Jesus, full of harmonies of love. May the melody bring us comfort, turning discords into peace. Fears betray us, hope is hiding, cloak us in your way of life. Come. The new song of salvation we shall hold till morning light. Come to sing the song of Jesus as our voices raise to thee. Justice, hope, and mercy reign. Darkness flees within our hearts. In your promise of creation, peace and joy will mark the dawn. Sing the new song for this new day, placing trust in Christ, our song. Yes, the new song we are to sing is the song Jesus. It's the song that demands of us obedience in the midst of our freedom. It's the song that is old and at the same time new. It's the song that must be learned over and over again as we're faced with new opportunities of service and new calls from God. This song has to be practiced privately and in community. It's about neighborliness, singing with your neighbor, but not just in unison. It's about prayer, Bible study, and spiritual disciplines. It's about living out our vows of baptism. It's about participating, really participating in the Eucharist. It's about following the teachings and example of Jesus. This new song is Jesus, and it is the unique song that each of us must sing as a follower of Christ. Merciful God, always with us, always coming. We confess that we do not know how to sing as we prepare for your advent. We have forgotten how to hope in miracles. We have ignored the promise of your kingdom. We get distracted by all the busyness of this season. Forgive us. Grant us the simple wonder of the shepherds, the intelligent courage of the magi, and the patient faith of Mary and Joseph that we may journey with them to Bethlehem and find the good news of a child born for us. Now in the quiet of our hearts, we ask you to make us ready for his coming. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
will sing a new song. As difficult as it is, I must learn the new song that is capable of meeting the new need. I must fashion new words of all the new growth in my life, my mind and my spirit. I must prepare for new melodies that have never been mine before, that all that is in with, within me may lift my voice unto God. How I love the old familiarity of the wearied mel melody. How I shrink from the harsh discords of the new untried harmonies. Teach me, my Father, that I might learn with the abandonment and enthusiasm of Jesus, the fresh new accent, the untried melody, to meet the need of the untried tomorrow. Jesus is the new song sung by Mary, a song of praise, hope, and justice, a song of salvation for all who believe, a song of good news for the poor and oppressed, a song of prophecy, freedom, and revolution, a song of God's mercy and faithfulness, a song of God's justice. Jesus is the new song sung by the angels, a song that calls for courage, not fear, a song of good news and great joy, a song of prophecy fulfilled in the Messiah, a song of a child born in the midst of poverty, yet a king, a song of praise and worship of an awesome God, a song of peace to God's people. Jesus is the new song sung by Simeon and Anna, a song sung by two righteous and devout elders, a song that accepts God's salvation in Jesus Christ, a song that acknowledges hope for Gentile and Jew, a song that brings the sword as well as peace, a song available to all who seek redemption, a song that brings consolation in the midst of life and death. Jesus is the new song sung by each of us a song that demands obedience in the midst of freedom, a song that is always old and always new, a song of the word that was in the beginning, a song that must be practiced individually and in community, a song of enthusiasm, joy, and God surprises, a song of faithful discipleship.
My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings with the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed. Could the world be about to turn? Though I'm small, my God, my all, you work great things in me, and your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame, and to those who would for you yearn, you will show your might, put the strong to flight. For the world is about to turn from the halls of power to the fortress tower, not a stone will be left on stone. Let the king be aware, for your justice tears every tyrant from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more for the food they can never earn. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grasp. This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound till the spear and rod can be crushed by God who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring. Let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears for the dawn draws near and the world is about to turn. Advent enables us to consider again what it is about the spiritual life that is trying to be born in us again. A new desire for God, relearning of the new song of Christ, the hope in God's goodness, the signs of God around us that we so often overlook, the awareness of God in strange places. Don't miss these last days of Advent, or you will miss Christmas too. Advent is a search in the dark. It's a call to live wide awake. Philip Berrigan and Elizabeth McAllister wrote, so that we can be alert to God working in us. It's the call to tend again whatever lights may be dying in our own hearts and to wait for them to be enkindled however they can. We are on a road to new insight, new awareness, a new song in our hearts, and new spiritual energy. The basic message of Advent is that hope never dies. Not our hope in God, or God's hope in us. Be grateful for what is ending. Prepare for what is ahead by readying the soil of the soul for anything and everything God sends. Sing to El Shaddai with new songs. Let the faithful assemble to praise her. Let all God's people dance for joy before their creator. Let her daughters and sons rejoice in her presence. Let them praise her with dancing and musical instruments. Surely El Shaddai takes pleasure in her people. Surely she adorns her beloved with peace. 
Therefore, let the faithful exalt in her glory. Let them cry out for joy from their beds. <clears throat> let their mouths be filled with the high praises of God. God's word accomplishes her will in this world. It chases chastises the peoples and the nations. It binds all rulers with the demands of obedience. God requires justice from all those in power and threatens unjust leaders with vengeance. This delights all the faithful. Hallelujah. <laughs>
song for new every morning mercies for what the Lord has done for you sing sing to the Lord a new song for forgiving the sin that only you and God know about for grace that is more than sufficient sing sing to the Lord a new song for every mountain you brought us over for hardship you saw us through, our souls sing hallelujah, yes, and amen. To sing a new song requires faith, commitment, openness, hope, struggle, and even pain. To sing a new song requires a daily living with God and claiming God's promises. To sing a new song requires following closely the teachings and example of Jesus. To sing a new song requires listening to the Holy Spirit within. To sing a new song requires obedience and persistence in the face of obstacles. To sing a new song is to sing God's song with you and me. How can we keep from singing the new song?
Thank you.